We're excited about the strategic plan, but we're excited not only about the strategic plan itself, but the process that we undertook to include all of you to get to the right answer on strategic planning. And if I could ask uh, for uh, Johan's uh, first and second slide, please. Next slide, thank you. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this has been a, a, a road of, of about two years in planning uh, for 2014 and 2018. And again, we're very proud of this process and we are proud of the number of people that have involved in this process. So when we say this is our way strategy, it's our way, it's inclusive, it's included everybody, uh, all of our movements to be part of the input into this strategy. We've had three drafts of this strategy go out to all the national movements. For information, we've sent that information back to you and again, for three times, we've revised and updated and modernized the information until the final document, which was approved in, on March 22nd, 2014, by the Executive Committee, which became the final document for the strategic plan. This document was also included in two National General Secretary uh, sessions. Again, so we had some in-person uh, in feedback around the strategic plan. And that, again, became part of what we're going to be presenting, uh, presenting today. So the way the governance will work on this particular presentation, uh, Johan will do the strategic plan presentation. I'm going to ask from the floor if there's any other comments or observations around the strategic plan. And uh, when I do that, I'll ask you to come up to microphone one or two. So as we're going through the plan and you have some questions uh, that arise from the presentation, please note them and be prepared to come up uh, to the microphones and talk about those. When everybody is finished with their uh, additional input and observations and comments, uh, we will proceed to have a motion to accept the strategic plan. We will have a second to accept the strategic plan. And then we'll do all, of, all in favor, all opposed, and all abstained. So that will be the uh, process for the strategic plan. We'll use the same type of process uh, later with VESI's uh, modernization of our uh, Constitution and bylaws. So without further ado, uh, please uh, give a, a really nice warm welcome to Secretary General Johan Elfett, please. Okay, Mike. Thank you. The new way was all about waking us up to enter a new journey together. The new way was a direction as well as a new kind of world alliance. New way was a travel that we haven't done for a while, maybe, or maybe a completely new journey. At least we as staff and uh, executive committee felt sometimes that it was like flying the plane as we were building it. And we were uh, creating the concept as we saw the challenges coming in this process of journeying into a new and unknown reality of unifying ourselves and focusing what, and we agreed very soon in that process that it was about focusing on young people and inspire us as a movement to open doors and windows and maybe tearing down a wall to face the real challenge of today, which is the youth population in the world today. It was still, you can say, a rather internal focus, preparing ourselves to change and preparing us for a journey to the stars. Because this was a very ambitious um, conceptualizing of the future. We wanted this movement to wake up and be a giant in the world of youth empowerment. And I repeat my question from uh, Monday morning. Did we deliver? How was this journey on the new way? 
and my good staff. And I, we have all agreed, my staff and I and Ken, that I should do a simple and uh, uh, short presentation of this uh, new strategy paper. It has been a very collective approach, as Ken said. You have all been involved, and certainly my staff has been heavily involved in developing this strategy. And that is why when I have finished and the questions are coming, that I will invite my dear colleagues to come up and respond to some of these issues, also so that you can see them and see what role they have played. Now I want to show you uh, some pictures from the journey on the new way, if you don't mind. And that is my presentation of what we did. And from there, I will go into the future. That is Kilimanjaro. I see the walls, then see them fall. We break through them all. I see you crawl, now you stand tall. Grow and grow till tall.
That was quite the journey. Our way into the future is a more extrovert, outward-bound strategy. Our way invites us to join hands and become visible in this world, invites us to mobilize huge numbers of young people and journey together as a caravan of love. Can I have uh, uh, slide number three? Think. Uh, thank you. Our way strategy is focusing on youth empowerment, and it is modeled like a spaceship. Uh, and that is just another metaphor to uh, give a, a, a pedagogical uh, image of what we are talking about into the future. And to lift that spaceship and give it speed and direction, we need to continue to build a strong launch platform. And that is why movement strengthening is a continued strong emphasis in this strategy. That is a continued internal perspective on strengthening the movement it itself, strengthening the leadership capacity and the knowledge base and expertise so that when we have a problem, when we have a challenge, and when we hear from the spaceship above, Houston, we have a problem, then we have leadership capacity. We have experience, we have shared knowledge to solve the problems and take the spaceship safely home with new experience and knowledge and learning and mastering. That is why movement strengthening is at the base of our way, World Alliance strategy, our way strategy. And the spaceship itself, uh, the, the slide number four, please. Uh, has the name Youth Empowerment, and to summarize the content of this vision, it has three key components in the main spaceship, so to say. What we are focusing on is change agents, and I think that you have seen them and experienced them, and you have started to believe in this vision, that it is working, and you are impressed. That's what you have told me here. And this uh, focus on change agents is, first of all, to integrate the change agents we have today. That is the most important. It's more important than to find a new generation. And you have to help us do that on local level and on national level, to integrate these great leaders of the YMCA so that we can keep them for life and so that they grow to be old and uh, satisfied leaders like Ken, like Ken and myself. Um, and serving the movement, hopefully, in a good way. 
mobilization of huge numbers of young people is the second focus. Two million by 2018. Long term to triple the number of young people we reach from 28 million to 90 million. 5% of the youth population, totally 1.8 billion of them. And that is a very challenging and ambitious goal. But we believe that if things move uh, ahead like it seems to do, it will go step by step. And every step we will uh, increase the size of this. And if we can see on uh, a few years ahead a tripling of the number of young people, we will be satisfied. And the third focus is on programs, on what we are doing, on giving content to this change process. It is about health, civic engagement, employment, and the environment. And we hope that these programs uh, concretely will reach around 500,000 people, uh, young people, in the few uh, years ahead of us. Uh, the number six, please. One of the two engines on the side to lift the spaceship is about resources. Of course, that is self-evident. And I will tell you that yesterday we had uh, something that we call the President's re uh, Reception. And that was a wonderful evening where we invited all of you, representatives from all of you, all the national movements and all the stakeholders, and we challenged you to respond to the strategy and to the experience that we are having together. And we invited you to invest in young people, invest in the change agent project. And individuals and movements pledged so that yesterday night alone, we got $130,000. A number of the movements and individuals have told me that we are not ready to pledge tonight. We need to go home and discuss it with our boards and our governance, but we will come back. And that are a, a number of big movements and small movements told me that. And we fully respect the governance process of this movement. So we are very grateful and happy for this solid uh, response to the strategic challenge. Resources. We need to continue to build the traditional knowledge sharing so that we know how to do resource mobilization and fund development. And the investor circle continued the work to raise the capacity to find our own resources and become self-sustainable. Two, a part of that engine is new energy and youth empowerment programs on the four strategic areas will make us access new resources from inside and outside of the YMCA. And the more concrete we become and the more we can show and demonstrate impact, the easier it will be for us to have donors coming our way. And the third element that we already operate successfully is staff placements, which are saving us resources and distribute expertise and motivation. It is an excellent program where young people and elderly people as well can come to Geneva for three months and work with us and uh, share in the development and knowledge that is what is happening in Geneva and go home and be agents for the world movement, and for us to learn from their local movement. The second part of that engine on the side, and if I could have uh, slide number seven, please, is what we call property development. This is another sleeping giant in the YMCA, and that is our portfolio of buildings and land around the globe often at prime locations in big cities, and they've been there for more than 100 years. And they were bought when they were affordable and built when they could build such huge buildings, and now they are there. 
sometimes underutilized and underdeveloped, and they are in badly need of repair and modernizations. Some of them need to be sold. Some of them need to be modernized. Some of them could be excellent modern YMCA's or a hotel or a shopping center or whatever. The goal with this project and this part of the engine is to di discover this hidden resource inside the YMCA itself and help the local YMCAs to use this resource better and to become a more viable YMCA locally. And a lot of local YMCAs has told us that they are in need of this. We need then, first of all, to map the reality so we see what is out there and what needs to be done. And funny enough, we call it the Global YMCA Assets, K. Wilson 37, in memory of the brilliant property of the World Alliance that we lost in Geneva. That's an example of how we lose valuable assets in this movement. And then we plan, if you agree on this item, to develop a coordinated and efficient and professional approach to this need and to develop tools that realistically can be scaled to, to assist local YMCAs to improve their situations. It is not so that the World uh, Alliance is going into property development. It is not so that we will start buying cranes and employ architects, not at all. And we will also not go about this as amateurs. This is a huge portfolio of property, and we need to develop an approach to that which is highly professional. On the other side we have res uh, of, of the engines, we have the knowledge. And we start with the research. The biggest ever research uh, is the one million voices, and we want to uh, achieve evidence-based relevance for young people so that we know the situation of young people and that we are able to document the untold story. A second part of this is that we want to train ourselves to become a movement that are used to work with evidence-based methodology and that we can demonstrate both understanding of the challenges at hand and demonstrate impact of what we are doing. The second part of that engine is about communication and advocacy. You remember in Hong Kong how we said we have a two-week presence, a two-week image. We need to strengthen the way we present ourselves. And of course, to do that, we need to unite and unify. And now we are a, a, an organization with a focus, and we are an organization with a clear advocacy agenda with strong external partnerships. And you saw that yesterday with all those experts coming from partner organizations to share with us. And we want to have an efficient internal communications flow so that we can enhance this network and inform one another and share the successes and the problem solving that is going on in this movement. A, a, a fluent, efficient internal communications flow as well as a good presentation outside. If I could have the slide number 10, please. The last part of the engine is about impact assessment, as our friend talked about here, about collective impact and uh, impact assessment. This is, in a competitive world, more and more a necessity for us to achieve support and partnership. Because if you are not able to measure what you are doing in an understandable way, not many donors will discuss with you at all. So we need to develop simple impact indicators for youth empowerment and how success looks. 
And we need to do the same to develop simple impact indicators for movement strengthening. And that, in all its simplicity, is our way. And now we will have time for questions and comments and debate. This is a paper that has been uh, widely distributed, as Ken said, and we have taken your feedback and worked it into this paper. And there is only one thing that I will say more. We are about to start the implementation planning already on Saturday lunch. And we will also start or continue planning for the financing of this project. And we will do that together with all the national secretaries and the global staff team here when this meeting is over on Saturday and Sunday. And it is very important for us that we work in the closest cooperation possible with the national secretaries and with the whole network. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Johan.